An alleged burglar scheme to steal a safe goes south. Here's Tini Mos on the so-called clumsy crook. The world will be watching Brazil this weekend. The World Cup comes to an end, and some people now are looking towards the 2022 World Cup. That's when it will controversially be held in the Qatar capital of Doha. I was in Doha a few weeks ago, and while there, we visited one of the city's biggest achievements. So what would you do if you saw one of the most famous rock stars in the world sitting on a park bench next to somebody? Here's Jeannie Mose. 45 years ago today, the Apollo 11 was launched into space. It was one of the greatest moments in the history of the American space program. And how did it get celebrated? Well, today, with Twitter. Here's Jeannie Moss. Putin, Obama, and the president of China's gorgeous wife. At an economic summit in Beijing, fireworks of all sorts were going off. Here's Jeannie. Here comes the bride and the baby. I mean, for the love of God, what is that on her dress? Well, for the answer, we turn to our own Jeannie Moss. An exciting day at the World Cup. Uruguay beating Italy by the skin of its teeth. For real. For more, here's Jeannie Moss. And there was an image we didn't need. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, we ran out of time to tell you about this. This is the brazooka. This World Cup has had more goals than World Cups in decades. So is this ball the reason? That is tomorrow night. We will show you. Anderson's next. So great TV theme songs stay with you long after the television shows goes off the air, like decades. Well, the 1960s had a lot of tunes that are now considered classics. Tonight, a celebration of the best theme songs by our own Ginny Moss. So actor Brad Pitt was attacked while attending a movie premiere last night. The attacker taken into custody, charges going to be filed. Pitt granted an emergency protective order against the guy. But this was not the first time the prankster had tried something like this on a red carpet. Here's our Ginny Moss. Huge numbers for ESPN during the World Cup. 18.2 million people watched the U.S. take on Portugal. It was the most watched soccer match, as they call it in this country, ever on American television. For more on the money and power of the World Cup, here's Jeannie Moss. I should say, look at that dog's tail. I'm surprised it could even stay upright. It was moving so fast. All right, thanks so much as always for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Anderson Cooper 360 starts right now.